am narendra here i am going to start some series of lectures on physics of semiconductor devices in this video i will give you some basic importance of semiconductor and its technology we often hear that we are living in information age that means we are communicating each other via internet even we are at a long distance with this internet we are communicating the large amount of information can be obtained via satellite communication system so the technology becomes a part of our life without technology it is very difficult to think about our life you might have aware of that all the technology around us for example how i am creating a video and how you are watching my video all these because of computers laptops smartphones and some other technology utilized in medical field such as lasers for the treatment and imaging systems for the diagnosis and some technology utilized in automobile industry and nowadays uh, everyone looking at electronic vehicles so all the countries trying to reduce their dependency on petrol and diesel by creating this electronic vehicles and some technology utilized in satellite communication system all these technologies are made of some device elements like diodes transistors laser diodes photo detectors solar cells light emitting diodes you know all these device elements are made of semiconductors so without this semiconductor we cannot think this technology so semiconductor play a crucial role in building all these technologies so if we take this transistor it is one of the building block in electronic industry when it was invented in 1947 it was revolutionized you know the transistor right the transistor it has a channel there is a source there is a drain and the channel performance can be controlled by some other point called gate so this is the beauty of this transistor right so so the first transistor was built at bell lab using polycrystalline germanium so nowadays the single crystalline silicon dominates to build the transistors right so the if you see the channel length now the this channel length is nearly 10 nanometer or below this one so the current technology the transistors have the channel length below 10 nanometer so after this invention there is one more revolution is the invention of integrated circuit chip circuit chip so it was invented in 1958 so integrated circuit chip means so it contains large number of transistors with some circuit connection so the famous businessman come researcher gordon moore he postulated a theory called moore's law in this moore's law if you he predicted that the transistors 
the integration of transistors will be doubled every 1.5 years and his theory was correct so far so if you see the density of transistors as a function of time in 1970 the integrated circuit chip contains 4000 transistors nearly 4000 transistors if you see the with the time the transistors will be doubled okay so at current 2020 the integrated circuit chip contains 50 billion transistors right so the integrated circuit chip contains 50 billion transistors so this technology is more sophisticated and more complex so the current technology of what we are using is more faster and more efficient so all this technology is mainly because of this semiconductors so what is the specialty of this semiconductor so if i say semiconductors one thing will strike in your mind that is called conductivity right conductivity so this conductivity is intermediate between the conductors and the insulator that i will discuss some other video more in more details so this conductivity so the specialty is that that is that is tunable that can be amplified So that is tunable, amplify or modulate. Modulate. So if you want a desired conductivity, you can build with these semiconductors. So that gives various device elements, transistors, diodes, some amplifiers. So the device element can be at on state or off state. So you can make it some kind of a logic gates, zero or one with the semiconductor based devices, or it can amplify the signal. So if some signal is like this, so it can be amplified or it can be rectified. It can be rectified. So the, with these semiconductor based devices, it can be possible to make some kind of a logic case it can be put in on state on state and off state right on state or it can be amplified the signal can be amplified with these semiconductor based devices and it can be rectified so this is the main important property of this semiconductor material i hope this will give some basic understanding of semiconductor and next time we will see with some other discussion on this semiconductor devices and technology to see more videos like this and please consider subscribing